So I want to explain a little bit about pricing. So with our two solutions, one thing is you're going to find if you get pricing from Techware, all the modules are itemized. So we're not trying to bundle anything. We're not trying to um, hide any numbers from you. It's all spelled out on our proposal. So there's three pieces that make up a proposal for a MUS. So you have the software purchase, and that's a one-time purchase. And again, it's based on how many users, concurrent users, you need in the system. So for example, for a Sage 100, a contractor could spend, starting out, one user system is $3,600. And maybe you're going to go with a three user system, you're going to spend maybe eight to $10,000. The sec second piece of that proposal is the support and maintenance. And that is the ongoing fee that you're going to pay every year. So the software is a one-time purchase, um, support maintenance is annual, and how that is calculated is 20% of your software purchase. So if I purchase $10,000 worth of the software, my annual support maintenance contract is $2,000. So that gives you all the updates, government dictated changes, and 1-800 unlimited phone support for one year. And then the third piece is the training. So there is no training that's bundled in with the software. This is all separate. And so what we do as a business partner is we actually break it out based on the modules, on what you're purchasing. And then with our experience, we can give you a budget of what typical contractors will spend to Im implement our solution. Now again, this is a budget. So you know we can't say for exact because everybody has different experiences. But again, with our knowledge of implementing over 300 systems, we pretty much know, on average, what it should take to implement a system. With Sage 300, again, that system is broken out by modules. So you have to purchase individual modules, then you have to look at how many people do I need in, for example, payroll at the same time. So you may own two uses of payroll, but only one use of general ledger and one use of job costs. So you can kind of pick and choose which modules you want. Again, tech, we itemize everything on the proposal, so you'd be able to see exactly what each module cost. Uh, the second piece of the proposal is the support maintenance contract, and that is what you pay annually. And so how we calculate that is 20% of your software purchase. So if you buy $20,000 worth of Sage 300 software, your annual support maintenance contract will be $4,000. The third piece of the proposal is your training. And again, what we do is we try to itemize the training based on the modules you're going to purchase. So you're going to have setup training and you're going to have workflow training. Setup is going through making the decisions, flipping the switches so all the integration is set up, and workflow is the day-to-day -day process. How do I enter invoices? How do I process payroll? So we break those out. And again, it's a budget. Um, you pay as you go, so we're not holding any money. Um, but we try to give you a realistic number so you know this is how much we should be spending to implement this solution. Cool. A Sage 300 system, typically uh, you're going to spend somewhere between thirteen and 18000 on software, uh, training, support, maintenance. You're going to see uh, price fifteen to 25000 on the small side. Sage 100 solution, uh, software training and implementation, uh, 7,000 to 20,000, depending on how many users you have. But again, we'll work with you, we'll itemize that again, so uh, we'll, we'll get exactly what you want. And we also offer uh, leasing. So again, you can purchase the whole product and we can bundle in a lease and it's a dollar buyout, you own it at the end. So again, that's just another option for you to be able to finance it and uh, make that process a little Very more cool. easier.